Hey, Randy Hunter here from BeginningSax.com and RandyHunterJazz.VHX.TV. Now, you were just listening to Rhythm Changes Etude Number 2 in my Rhythm Changes Etude series. And if you'd like a free copy of the Etude, just stay tuned for a minute and I'll tell you how to get it um, in just a couple of minutes here. So, um, if you haven't checked out the first video in the series, be sure to check out my YouTube channel and hopefully subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out the video and I'll put a link directly to video number one in the video description below. So just look right there and you'll find a link that'll take you to um, to video one. And um, the etudes, this again is the second one, so it's a progressive series of etudes. This one builds upon the concepts that I covered in the first one. And I'm not going to tell you all about that because I want you to listen to the first video to really learn more about what's going on in this series. But in this one, I'm working with the 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 arpeggios with no alterations, just the basic 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 to the chords on the A section and on the B section of Rhythm Changes, also known as the bridge, I've added to the pentatonics that I used previously. In this one, I'm using the pentatonics plus the sevens. And as the series progresses, you know, the the concepts are going to get more, pro, you know, progressively more difficult. So hopefully, uh, hopefully, this will inspire you to write some etudes of your own because really that's what this is all about is taking these these parameters that you're working within and again I don't want to repeat what I've covered in video one but this is all about working at writing etudes to help you learn how to assemble your musical vocabulary now this chord progression Gershwin's chord progression to the tune I got rhythm is a very popular chord progression so you're gonna find if you look around um, at different tunes that are contrafacts based on Gershwin's um, rhythm changes chord progression you'll find a lot of variation in the chord progressions you know sometimes you'll find the one chord followed by the six minor seven chord in this one I've used the one chord followed by the the six dominant chord which is a very popular um, variation on rhythm changes in fact if you check out a, if you're an I real person and check out um, uh, Sonny Rollins tune Olio that's a contrafact based on the same chord progression you'll find the uh, the dominant six chord is used there so I've, I've got some uh, some variations in here that are very common in bars five and six you also often find variations on rhythm changes in this one I've just done the one chord the one seven chord that's the C seven chord for an entire bar followed by the four chord followed by the four minor seven chords. Sometimes you'll see um, a sharp four diminished chord. Sometimes you'll find uh, a two fives in here in different places. On the, on the one chord you might see G minor seven to C seven as opposed to just C seven. But I've chosen um, the, the form of rhythm changes, the, uh, the variation that I really like to write this etude with. I think it's very practical and, and really to write the entire etude series with. So if you want I have a complimentary copy of the etude. Visit my website, beginningsax.com. That's www.beginningsax.com. Go to the contact page and send me an email. It doesn't have to be from the contact form, just an email from the website. Um, you know, I've got my email address there. You can just send me an email and say you want a copy of Rhythm Changes Etude Number Two. And be sure to let me know if you want it for tenor sax, alto sax, or concert pitch instrument. Okay, I'll be happy to email it to you. And don't worry, I'm not going to um, start sending you tons of emails. That's just not going to happen. I don't do that. Um, but um, but I hope you'll uh, again. I hope you'll check out my jazz improv and beginning lessons while you're at that site, and see what I have to offer there. I've also got a two books that are that are available as downloads. You'll find those on the homepage of beginningsax.com. And um, if you're really digging my lessons and you'd like to sub subscribe to my complete series of jazz improv beginning sax lessons, all of that, then visit https colon backslash backslash randy hunter jazz dot vhx dot tv okay so check out the uh the etude one more time now